Welcome to Out and About Living with Cancer Week 2. Today I'm off to the Turner Diagnostic Centre which is situated at the Colchester General Hospital. Purpose of today's visit is to have a PET scan. This will enable my consultant to see how far the cancer has spread within my body if indeed it has spread but once the scan is taken then he will be able to give me much better treatment depending on the results and from what they find from this cancer there's the main entrance to the Turner Diagnostic Centre all I need to do now is to cross the road and enter I'll speak to you again soon by the way today it's Tuesday the 1st of December. Speak to you soon. So I arrive at the Turner Centre, check in with the reception and after a short wait a nurse comes and collects me and takes me through to a private room. She then asks a series of questions which you tend to get at every appointment. Um, following this another nurse came to see me in the room and placed a cannula into my arm. She then went off and came back a short time later with a radioactive solution which was connected to the cannula and injected into my body. The radi radioactive solution um, attaches itself to damaged cells within the body so they can see where the cancer is. Um, and this is a very detailed scan, the, the PET scan. So you have to wait then for an hour to, for this solution to go around your body and find all the spots it needs to. I had been advised to take something with me to read so I took this book and uh, sat having a read of it. It's a bit of a pipe dream. Um, something it had come up about the possibility of living on a canal boat on the canals in the UK and uh, it has a certain appeal to it so I've been reading up on it to see what, see what that sort of lifestyle is like and what it is about. But I digress, um, I sat there for an hour, drunk some more water because before a pet scan you must fast for at least six hours, have absolutely no food whatsoever during that time but you can drink as much plain water, nothing in it, just plain straight water, as much as you want. And in fact, while I was sitting there in the hospital, they brought another cup of water in for me to, to drink while I was reading during that hour. When the hour is up, a nurse came and collected me, takes me into the room where the scanner is, rather large machine. You must be sure you have no metal on you. You can keep your clothes on for this scan, but they mustn't have any metal in them. No metal zips, catches, buttons, anything at all. Any metal must be removed. You then lay on to the, uh, the bed or platform of this machine. Um, a piece is placed under the knees to keep the knees in a semi-raised position and you have to lay still for the next half an hour. When the nurse has finished lining you up with the machine, she switches on and disappears into another room. And you then start to go into the tunnel with this machine. While you have to stay still, the platform you're on moves backwards and forwards quite a lot. At one time I was actually out the other end of the machine. Um, I assume it has to do this to get the full 3D images that it needs, but you are being moved backwards and forwards quite, quite a lot. Very noisy and a little bit chilly because apparently this machine does get very hot and there is a very large fan to keep it cool. I'll show you a picture of one of these machines which um, will follow this little chat. Um, yeah, this is a photo of a typical PET scan machine. 
not necessarily the actual one which I went into. Okay, that's uh, that's the events of this week of the the scan. The other thing I decided to do this week was to do some uh, online food shopping, something that I've never done before. But being now classed as a vulnerable person, was something I thought I should try. Not a way I really enjoy shopping. I would prefer to go to the shops, but I must say that this uh, worked well. Ordering was easy, payment, well, you just pop your card number in and that's it, they take the money. Um, but yeah, it, it was an easy experience, the delivery came, everything was good. So, well, for a little while it looks like I might be online shopping. One other thing is that while I myself feel great, um, wouldn't physically know there was anything wrong with me. The mind is racing, um, probably because of receiving this diagnosis. Um, I suppose the mind starts to evaluate life. Concentration has become difficult. Things which I should have been doing or looking at, I haven't. Um, yeah, the mind just seems to be constantly busy. But that's about it. Um, it looks like a nice bright day out there today, it's Saturday at the moment, so I might go out for a walk in a little while. Other than that, I shall do another update next week. Take care and I'll see you there, friends. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll be with you again soon. Bye now.